There's no such thing as a boring presentation, only boring presenters. Well, I think sometimes people think it's, um, they associate professional with boring. Well, it's so highly competent people, people who know a lot about mm. a topic. They're not always perceived as such because of the way they show up. <laughs> Let's go. I didn't know you had it all good to go, but yep, you did. I think we're recording. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. My name's Liz. My name's Tree. And thanks for joining us on another episode of Hey, Don't Do That, where we explore the little things that nobody tells you that have really big impacts on your motivation, effectiveness, and success. Yes. Today, we're talking about being boring. Being boring. Being boring. So, Tree, true or false, uh -huh. according to the Mayo Clinic, boredom is common and over 60% of adults say they are bored at least once a week. True. You're right again. Have I always been right? I think you've been right on just false? about every single true-false question we've done. Huh. huh. I don't know how you always know the true-false question. I'm just compensating for all the trivia questions that I get wrong. At the end? <laughs> Oh, tree. Huh. Well, maybe true, false, or just your thing. Yeah. So we're talking about um, being boring today yeah. because there's some boring things. There's some boring people in this world. Okay. And I know that because uh, the Wall Street Journal did a study. You know this study. We talk about this study in one of our um, programs when we talk about communication, mm -hmm. where they did a survey of about 200 VPs of Fortune 500 companies. Yes. And they asked them, like, how would you describe the meetings you sit in? Mm -hmm. And they said boring and yeah. sleepy was 88% of what they said. Crazy. Right? Boring and sleepy. Mm-hmm. The interesting yeah, I thing... I can see it. I can, I can totally see it. Yeah. The interesting thing is, this is one of my favorite quotes. There's no such thing as a boring presentation, only boring presenters. Mm -hmm. yes. So it's not the meetings that are boring. Yes. It's the people. Yes. And case I know... In point. This case in point that makes me think. Recently did a workshop about writing business writing. How exciting does that sound, everybody? And I would imagine, I, I can guarantee you, the participants walking in thinking this is going to be the longest three hours of their life. And mm -hmm. it's just up to how you how you make it fun, right? How do you make the learning more fun? Mm -hmm. Instead of, it doesn't have to be boring. Yeah. And you see, but you see people all the time. So I'm, and like, you just want to tell somebody like, please don't be boring. Because that's what everybody thought walking into that meeting. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so boring. And yes. they wanted to tell you, please <laughs> don't be boring. Please don't make this boring. Mm -hmm. So then the question becomes, well, why do people, why are people boring? Uh -huh. And I think one is sometimes it goes back to the topic. Like we mm -hmm. aren't excited about yes. it. Yes. So Dale Carnegie says that we have to have, he calls them the three E's. Uh -huh. We have to have earned the right to talk about something. Yes. We have to be eager to share the value and we have to be excited about it. Yes. And if we're not excited about something or if we haven't earned the right to talk about it, if we're having to talk about something that we don't really know, it's just been handed to us, mm -hmm. it's really hard to make that fun yes. and exciting. Yes. And it's easy to just go into boring, well, let me just read my slides to yeah. you. I'll just use my monotone voice. Yes. You, uh, if you're giving a presentation, you have to first be excited about it. 100%. Before, before your audience gets excited because they can feel it from you. Like if you, if you don't even get excited or, or uh, um, happy or eager to, to, to talk about the content, it doesn't come off and it, as such and the audience won't, won't feel it. Um, like if, if you're talking about like the three E's, right? Earn the right, excited and eager. Because if we ask, if I ask you, there are three people. One person read about the uh, Rihanna Super Bowl concert 
another person talk to somebody who who were at the concert, and the third person who was actually at the concert.、Mm. Which one do you want to hear from? The one who was actually there. Absolutely, because they earned the right; they were there. Yeah. And I bet you they're more excited than the other two people, right? And I'm sure they're eager to tell you about everything that happened.、Mm-hmm. Right. So you gotta have those three. To not make it a boring presentation, you have, and one of it is you got to be excited about it first. Well, I think sometimes people think it's、um, they associate professional with boring. Yes. Right. Yes. Like, well, I have to be. I,、yes. I have to be really buttoned up and professional.、Mm. And professionals, they don't do fun things. They just talk through their slides、mm-hmm. and they just get through the meeting. Yeah. And in reality, everyone else in the meeting, nobody might say it, but everybody else in the meeting is thinking that same thing. Like this is yes. boring. Yes, yes, because we we take、um, we take being we 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 have the perception of like if I'm being funny, then they're not going to take me seriously, right? And when you try to not be boring, doesn't have to have to, doesn't mean you have to say jokes every five seconds. Yeah. Right, that's not what we're talking about. It's like, how can you make it engaging for the audience? Then they won't be bored. Well, it's so highly competent people, people who know a lot about、mm. a topic. They're not always perceived as such because of the way they show up.、Mm-hmm. Right, like we will make judgments on people not based on their competence or their credentials, but we will make judgments on them based on the way they're communicating or the way they look at us. There was、um, a study of financial advisors, and they would have people come in and talk with these two advisors. One had a better track record than the other, but the one who had a better track record was very boring. The other guy was super confident, had lots of personality. His track record wasn't as good, though.、Mm. So logically, if you were going to put your money with someone,、yeah. you would think, you "Oh, I want a track. I want the track record."、Yep. But most of the people said, "We're going to pick this other guy,"、mm. and it was because he brought some life. They felt some energy from him, and they're like, they felt like he's going to do better with us. Yeah. Right. So yeah. even though. The other guy had a better record, and that's why I say highly competent people are not always perceived that way because of the way they show up. Because、mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's not just me taking the information; it's like how I experience this. Yeah. Right. And second persons understand the inter- maybe the interpersonal dynamics of like how do I make it engaging and interesting to them and make it relevant for them versus just spitting out a bunch of facts. Oh, because I know so much. Yeah. So here is the best part. Okay. We're not meant to be boring, and we're not made boring. I know most people、mm. are not boring, and here's how、What、I know that. that. So there's a book. Okay. Okay, it's called What's Your And. What's your and? So okay, this is not one of your five trivia questions, Tree, but here's a <laughs> trivia question for you. So、okay. what percentage of people would you say? Like they wake up in the morning, they go to their job,、mm-hmm. they go home at night, maybe watch some TV, and kind of you know go to bed, and they just kind of like that's their routine. They wake up, go to work, go home, make dinner. Are you talking about the percentage of people? Yeah, like what percentage of people would you say that's kind of like their their normal? Seventy three percent. Okay, so I thought it was a really high number too. Uh huh. It's way lower. Eight percent. Really? Eight percent. Eight percent. That means that ninety-two percent of people,、mm-hmm. like they, we have hobbies, we have things that we love that we're interested in. So the book is called "What's Your And," because they'll say most often times we well, we would say I'm an accountant,、uh-huh. I'm、mm-hmm. uh, I'm in technology,、yeah. I'm I'm a, an engineer. Yes. And. What else are you? Right, like I own Dale Carnegie and I do Ninja,、mm. and that's really cool. Yeah, that's not boring at all. Yes. What's your end? I am a Dale Carnegie facilitator, and I love to cook. Yeah, like I was trying to think of what your end was because I think、like, it could be singing. I love to sing, but I'm like you do you like cooking, but you also just like I think you're kind of a foodie in general. 
Yeah, I love I love to eat. So like everybody has an eight. Well, I shouldn't say everybody. Maybe there's eight percent of well, people. If, okay, it's the thing. If you don't have the end, you can find your hand. Yeah. Right. And it's those ands that like make us so unique and not boring. I mean, imagine going into work and you know, you get to talk to somebody who maybe you've known for years and you find out that like they can quilt or knit just these amazingly beautiful things or they scuba dive or they fly planes or they play pickleball. Like everybody is awesome. Yeah. Most people just don't know how awesome they are. Mm. And so if we can like realize that we're more than just who we are at work, you're more than your career, like you bring a unique energy to things. You don't have to be boring. Like bring that love of cooking, you know, bring the love of ninja, bring your love of photography, whatever it is, like you're more than that one thing. And when you remember, like there's only one of you. Yes. You're not boring. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to be willing to show up as all of you. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a good point. I, there's, there's a friend of a friend and he's a recent college grad. Okay. He's getting a job at an accounting firm. Okay. And he, we were talking about his resume. All right. And he says, Hey, I'm learning this coding thing. Should I put that on the resume? even though it's not related to what I'm applying for, we're like, yes, because that makes you interesting, right? Compared to someone who's like, hey, I'm majoring in accounting versus I'm majoring in accounting and I'm learning how to code. Mm-hmm. Like, it makes you stand out because Absolutely. you're not just one-dimensional. It makes you cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so Dale Carnegie, Dale Carnegie started in 1912, and the program has really evolved since then. And there was one session that everybody that I know who's been in this business for a really long time, they love. And there's a quote, and it's, if you act enthusiastic, you, you will be, be enthusiastic. enthusiastic. And so sometimes if we're not feeling it, mm. we have to fake it till we are it. Mm-hmm. It's not fake it till you make it. It's fake it till you are it. Because the more enthusiastic you act, the more enthusiastic you will become. So sometimes on like those hard days, it's just about saying, you know what? I'm going to act enthusiastic at least. And the more you do that, then you genuinely start to become enthusiastic. And you make other people around you feel that energy, right? Because you're choosing your intention to put energy into what you do. Yeah. In in your presentation or, or how you interact with your kids or how you interact with your coworker. And then you're not being perceived as boring because you're you're choosing not to be boring yeah it's we say a lot the bar is low the bar is the bar is pretty low Mm -hmm. if you think about most of the meetings you sit in yeah the bar is kind of low yes so it doesn't take a lot to stand out Mm -hmm. it doesn't take a lot you know a little smile here bringing in your and some of those things that you do Using those E's of being excited, yes. eager, making sure you've earned the right to talk about things. Yeah. They make such a difference. And the more energy we bring, the more mm-hmm. enthusiasm we bring, the more people will want to be around us. Mm-hmm. And the more people will want to listen to us. Yes. Yes. And they would remember what we're trying to communicate with them longer. Absolutely. Because they're not zoning out in their head. But they're engaged and they're listening to us. Yeah. So, Tree... You want you want you gonna bring some energy? Or are you gonna be boring at <laughs> trivia today? <laughs> well, it depends. See how 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 they upset me for not getting them not getting them right. I you know I think you're you're gonna do okay on this. I think so. Yeah, I think you might do okay on well, this. Well, the, the thing I know for sure is that your trivia questions have never been boring. We try to keep them a little bit exciting. <laughs> We try to keep them <laughs> exciting because we don't want to be boring. Uh-huh. So you're going to have 30 seconds. Okay. Five questions. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Um, according to researchers at mm-hmm. the University of Essex in Britain, mm. what is the most boring job? Not a librarian. No. 
I'll tell you later. How many hours a day do koalas sleep? 18 hours a day. What would yes, which character from Winnie the Pooh was always down and considered by some as boring? Oh man, I, now I wish I know the characters. I don't know. Okay. Is it the dog? N I don't no. know. Okay. No. Which, <laughs> you don't which know. You blonde, have the answer. <laughs> you only have like 10 seconds. Which blonde female icon from the 50s said it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely boring? Marilyn Monroe. Yes. Which brand of batteries is not boring because they keep going and going the and energizer. going? The Energizer. Yes. Tree. <gasps> you got three right. That... Is that the first time I've ever gotten three? I don't know if that's the first time <laughs> you've ever gotten three, but you did great. Um, yes, koalas. So they sleep, I would have given you anywhere between 18 to 22. So koalas okay. sleep 18 to 22 hours a day. Some people consider them the most boring animal because they're always asleep. I thought sloths are the most boring animal. I think it's they're like the slowest. Glacial pace. Yeah, they're very slow. But do, I think sloths can also be kind of like dangerous. They have very long claws. Yeah, they're... they're an, they, they're their own ecosystem. They have like a whole population of other animals living in them. Oh, that's weird. Under their fur. Very weird. Um, okay, according to this study, the most boring job is data analysis. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> arguing with that. <laughs> data, data analysis is number not one. I'm not arguing with that. Accounting was number two. Okay. Accounting was number two. Um, okay, the character from Winnie the Pooh, who was always down and considered by some to be boring, it's Eeyore. But Eeyore, Eeyore was a donkey. He was yeah, not a okay. dog. Okay, yeah. I, got, when you, I heard the first part, I didn't hear the last Eeyore. part, but Eeyore was a donkey. Okay. His tail could fall off. Um, Marilyn Monroe, you were right. She's the one who said it's better to be absolutely ridiculous than to be absolutely boring. Mm -hmm. Did you know that immediately? If I wouldn't have told you the you icon from the 50s, would you have known? Would you have known it by the quote? Did you say blonde? Yeah. Yeah, that was the first name that came That gave it right. away. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you were right. The brand of batteries is Energizer. The Energizer exactly. bunny keeps going and going and going, so he's definitely not boring. Yeah. So wrapping up today as we leave, the one thing we want you to not forget, right? Don't forget, bring energy. Bring energy into your communication, into your interactions. Bring in your and. Bring in your aunt. Because that's yes. definitely not boring. Yes. See you later. Bye.